Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine tutorial. This time around I'll show you how to make the absolutely simplest AI artificial intelligence you can create in literally a matter of minutes. Like always, learning Unreal is a daunting experience and has a lot of nooks and crannies you need to get into. But in my experience, a great way to start is to figure out the basics and then build up on them. So in this case, I want to do a really simple thing. I have my 3D third person environment here and I want to replicate this character, which is my third person player character, into a figure, an enemy figure that has the simplest AI ever, which only follows you. So this AI example will include the same figure doing nothing more than following the player character on game start. How you do that? The easiest way is for me to take the third person character, its blueprint and simply copy it. Create a copy of the same setup and I'm going to rename it into enemy. I'm going to use the same copy in the scene. So here's my enemy. As you can see, it's a literal copy of the player character and it includes elements that are not useful or needed here, which is basically the boom and the camera that sits upon it. But if I enter into the game, here is my enemy. It is doing nothing. It has its invisible camera, but no AI brain. Let's change that. We're going to enter edit mode. Here you see the whole input jump, touch input, gamepad input, all of the things that are actually used by the player when they control the character. Being that I copied it, I'm going to discard it all because I don't need any of that. The same goes for the follow camera and the camera boom, but I'm going to keep everything else because it's going to be useful for my AI. Now. Here is the player character, nothing has changed, but it is free from the unneeded elements. Here is still my player character, which has the camera, as you can see the preview is working. But before we get into building the AI, I'm going to add a mesh that is a navigation mesh, which will help the bot, the AI, actually find its way. This is the same volume. I'm going to extend it here a bit so you can read it. It's navigation mesh vol bonds volume or nav, nav mesh bond volume. I'm going to add it first and set up the space where our friendly enemy should move. Let me zoom out and let me cover the whole level here. And let's do it like this. We're going to expand it. First, we're going to move it and then we're going to expand it. I'm crudely doing this so it covers the entire space. Let's see if I went a bit too out. And finishing touches and it's here. So our nav mesh is now set in place but our enemy still has no brain. Before we give him or it or her or whatever a brain, we first need to give it senses. So we're going to add pawn sensing, which is the way uh, and I'm going to name it enemy or rename it, which is the way our character actually perceives the world. As you can see, there are a huge number of variables here, but the thing that we want, let's uh, go to the viewport and see pawn sensing. Right now it's not showing, I need to compile it. And here it is. As you can see now our pawn is omnipotent in his, its or whatever sensing. And we can change that by uh, focusing the same field of vision this is the peripheral vision to some other variable, uh, to some other, not variable, 
but uh, extent. So let's find peripheral. Here it's under AI, so we can directly find it under AI because we're not using hearing uh, or anything. We're using sight radius and we're hearing using peripheral vision. Now let's see how it changes. In this case, it's a full peripheral vision. We can change it to a different volume and make it something more akin to a normal sight. So we have the ability of our AI to sense, but now we need to create the way it functions and the way it works in terms of what happens when it senses that or figures out or sees in this case the target it's looking for. So with this selected, we're going to add on C pawn. That's the first element in the construction. From there, we're going to go with cast to third person character. And we're going to connect it to the pawn. Finally, we are connect this to AI moves to and we are going to go with target actor on third person character. Finally, the pawn is going to go to self. And with this, you have your most essential, most basic AI brain, which has to do nothing but simply follow the player once it senses it. And we're going to tweak that a bit later as well. So we're going to compile, save, so on C pawn goes to cast third person character, which is our actually player, and the AI moves to, again, target actor, third person character, the pawn is cast to self. Again, a new save, back into the game. We have all of our elements and I'm in the game. Here is my enemy and it's following me. As you can see, it's right at my heels. It's not jumping, it's not emulating me, it's simply following me. And it's continuing to do so. But now let's allow it to find me and once it does, I can escape its field of vision and the controller does not do know or the A does not know what to do then. The, for the lack of better uh, terminology, the pawn, uh, the enemy character simply forgot about me. And once I enter its field or his or whatever, <laughs> its field is probably best it continues to follow me. Then a new movement, it continues to do so as well. And basically that's it. This is everything you need to have to get your basic AI, which does nothing more than follows the player. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. This is a tried and tested method of creating the same AI. Hopefully I'd explained it sufficiently for my uh, beginner mindset. And hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please uh, like, share and subscribe to this video. Good luck with your future Unreal Engine ventures and see you on my new Unreal tutorial. Until then, my name is Ivica. Thanks again for watching and bye bye.